What is up guys, it's me Armana, and over the past while I've actually gotten a few questions on how I make my computer look and sound like Windows XP. And every time I've said it's a huge combination of programs, and today I've just felt like showing you guys how I do it. First thing you guys need to know is it is about like what, four or five programs that's doing all of this which is very nice, very cool. First thing we're gonna do is this Steam library. First of all, there was a way to get this part be like the original Steam library all green and stuff, but in a recent Steam update, they completely broke that and you can't really do this right now. Check in the description in like a month or something, I'll check in the future if there is a way to fix this. On small mode, this is very simple. Now first, the very easy thing to do is just right click any of these. If you have icons, right click it, hide icons. That's something pretty normal, although I like to keep the icons on now. In the description, I'm gonna have links to everything, by the way. The first thing is called OG, uh, OG Steam, which is basically just a Steam theme that you put in the Steam folder. Basically, when you go to this, you wanna click code, you wanna download zip. Take this, extract all. And once you're in the Steam folder, what you wanna do is go to skins and you want to drag og steam in here now wait wait there is a very very important step first if your steam is already open when you uh put it in there you're gonna want to restart steam second before you change the theme you want to make sure all these these settings here are how they are if not uh, you won't be able to see any text. There will be no text. It'll be impossible to navigate. You want to make sure these settings are clicked. Okay, then you restart Steam and you should have this. As far as I know, there is no way to change the sound effects though, which is very unfortunate because I do want the, the old, old, old sound effects for um, chats. But unfortunately, that does not exist. Anyways. Now that that's out of the way, next thing we're going to talk about is the taskbar. Now, this taskbar is a combination of two different programs. You technically only need one. You you only would need Classic Shell if you just want the taskbar. But with um, if you want Windows to look like, you know, old Windows XP, you're going to need another program. First, we're just going to go over Classic Shell as the other one is it costs money the other one costs money there i said it okay next thing you're gonna want classic shell now the classic shell website as far as i'm aware is not up anymore sadly however the developer did put it on sourceforge so you can download classic shell on sourceforge when you get that installed and load it you're gonna want to get go into your settings the first thing you're gonna want to do go to start menu style select skin skin Set it to Windows XP Luna. Now, also guys, remember that this is completely up to preference. However, if you want the Windows XP look, go with Windows XP Luna. And you can also just completely customize the start menu however you want. Classic with two columns is what Windows XP mostly used as far as the Luna theme. To replace the start button, you're gonna want to go down here, replace, click replace start button and then pick image. I'm gonna up put a folder in the description, uh, a Google Drive folder of this stuff because this folder was on the Classic Shell website, but once again, it is down. So I'm gonna upload this folder to uh, Google Drive and put that in the description. You're gonna wanna set it to xpbutton.png. There you go. That button should be there. Now, you know, it can always change, but you want this. Next, taskbar. You can customize the taskbar, but um, with my other program, it is a bit buggy, sadly. But um, if you want to customize the taskbar, you would click this and then click this right here. You want to set it to xp underscore bg dot png. There you go. Set it to stretch, stretch, and there you go. Now, of course, I can't do this because another program is active, which also gives me this little thing right here. And now we're gonna talk about that program. That program is Window Blinds. Now, Window Blinds is a paid program. It is $10. I, I, I'm just gonna say, if you really want the old Windows XP look and feel, Window Blinds is definitely worth it because it gives enough of Windows XP that it looks and kind of feels like the original, but not so much that it's like not really modern 
and usable because let's be real there we all love windows xp but there are just some things that, that they're, they're just better now and windows explorer is definitely one of them window blinds uh you get this now the this theme does not come with window blinds you do have to download this from another website called win customize this link will also be in the description you download this you load it into window blinds you apply it and now your windows should be like windows xp taskbar should be like windows xp that's pretty much all that once again classic shell is to replace the start button because this start button kind of sucks it's not like the original and it doesn't give you the the good like taskbar i forgot something this little thing right here this new clock this is an open source program called t clock what you want to do go to the github once again in the description when, when you get it set up you want to set the font to tahoma quality non anti list don't mess with any of the settings click ok and you are done now let's talk about these windows icons now these are not really too hard to do what you want to do is go to windows settings you know the good old settings icon here you want to go to personalization themes scroll down desktop icon settings and then here these should be the you know the defaults so i'm just gonna change this icon here and in the description i'm going to provide another folder of the old icons that you can apply so what you want to do go to windows xp icons and in the description as well i'm gonna quickly provide all the file names for everything that you'd want um in the folder thing just so you can quickly scroll through it so once these are applied you now have this these icons here now you can go through other icons however i haven't done that because i'll be honest for folder icons i prefer how windows 10 does it so you can like actually see what's in there and that is all cool and said and done the last thing we're gonna do is the sounds which is the best best part what you want to do go to your control panel click sound go to sounds and once again in the description i'm going to upload a google drive folder of the windows xp sounds now what you would want what you would need to do is go to certain sounds in here i'm actually going to go to the default so a big example is asterisk this is the sound that you know goes like this that's how that would sound now with windows xp well first what you would want to do go to browse and then go to the folder again and then you would go to whichever freaking thing it's set to on screen uh, i'll let you know which what to replace what with so all of these things on screen um this is what you replace them with and now you have windows xp sounds and that is mostly it uh also you can set your desktop background to any you know 1080p image of the classic bliss wallpaper or any wallpaper uh representing the early 2000s <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope i actually helped someone out with this because i know some of you guys have wanted this because you know windows xp is fun and stuff anyways thank you guys for watching i will see you all when i actually make something